All right, guys, so we're back at this E46. Um, I was thinking today, what can we do a video on that's actually going to help some people out? So we still haven't put this car back together. We need to do 10,000 other things going on at one time. However, that being said, we do have the car still apart, and I'm going to show you how to check and change the ABS sensor. Man, look at the rest on that. Uh, without actually snapping it off in the hub, and that's pretty important. And also, we'll run to go over a few other things too of how to check the ABS sensor uh, and basically how to check for other problems that may be giving you a false reading. Before we do that, real quick, we are working on the Civic today. We do have all the parts in now. Um, just kind of working as I can, so the video will be up in a day or so. It'll be up and running, and you guys will get to see the part to the Civic video. Just thought I'd go ahead and tell you that in case you're wondering. Okay, so there's a little knee pad to kneel on down here. And this one, we have the wire that goes to the ABS sensors right here. Now, this E46 is a little bit different. In fact, that on E39, you're going to have a little box, even on the front of this E46, a little box up here. Okay, so phone ring. Sorry about that. You guys know how it goes. Uh, what we're going to do here, this little guy here is actually the brake pad sensor. It has a little clip on it. That clips in the brake pad. I really need to put this car back together. But I need to work in the Civic. But I need to work in a $300 X5. But I need to put the ball joints in the Sequoia. But I need to do like 100 things, come to think of it. So <laughs> that's how it goes, I guess. So anyway, what we're going to do here, we need two different things to take this out. We need a pair of in this case, we're going to use needle nose vice grips. You could use um, probably regular vice grips. You could use a pair of pliers if you needed to. Vice grips at this variety seem to work better. You could pick these up anywhere for cheap. You also need a rack of uh, Allen bits. And you could actually, these are actually from Walmart. Um, this is two sets. You only need the metric set. It's $9. That's it. So. For $9, and you probably, I don't know, most of you guys probably got some of that variety. If not, they're about $10, $11 for actual Vice Grip brand or Irwin brand. So that's all you're going to need to remove the sensor. And what we're going to do here, we're going to match up the size of this to the actual sensor. And you see right there, it just has one bolt holding it in. So let's go ahead and match that up and see what size that okay, is. Okay, so we're back. We have a 3 8 drive ratchet. We have a 6 inch extension. We're going to put that on there. And this thing should break loose pretty easy since we already had it out before. Yeah. That's all that should ever be is snugged up. On these bolts, you don't want them real tight. So, I'm going to go and zip that out. Now, if you have trouble getting this bolt out, which is possible, sometimes you have to turn it, you know, try to loosen it and then go back a little bit and then back and back. You can spray some WD-40 or penetrating oil on this. If you strip it out, don't worry, you're not totally screwed. If you strip it out, you can always get your vice grips, you clamp it on the head like that real tight and then you could break it loose pretty easy so you're never totally screwed and these are pretty soft a lot softer than the hub if you totally snap the head off which is possible you could easily you could actually get to it to drill it out and retap it you can retap it just to whatever you want so there's that we're gonna put him right there for right now so we don't lose it and this is the trick that a lot of guys struggle with most of these sensors are nice and brittle once they start getting older. And let me see if I could do it here. So what you're gonna wanna do is come in here like this. You're gonna wanna gently clamp on each side. And then you can wiggle and pull it out like this. And this one is missing I guess these don't have O-rings. I thought they had O-rings. And then you wiggle and pull it out like that. You never want to pry it out. And this one is a little crody, but it's not terrible. 
uh, it's common to break these off if you break it off and it's on the front if it's on the E39 or something that has a removable hub you have to remove the hub bearing assembly and then you can push it out from the inside if it's like this these damn E46s you can't do that you got to separate the bearing to do that and it's pain in the ass and on and on and on if you snap this off down in there and you break it off so you break it off here where this whole piece here is still in there you're not totally screwed I'm going to show you how to fix that. So if you snap it off in there, what you need to do is go to Auto Parts Store, go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot, and get you one of these. This is a bolt extractor, and you want it smaller, obviously, than what this guy is. It could be a little bigger than this. Um, and what you're going to do, you're going to take a drill bit. You're going to drill, you know, this is broken off like that. You're going to drill the drill bit down into the remainder piece which is right here that's in the hub so you're going to drill down like this then you're going to once you have the hole in it you're going to screw this guy in there and when you turn this in see what was the deal we turn this in reverse this reverse thread it'll bite into that plastic it'll pull it out you can use the same thing with your bleed screws uh, on your coolant bottle if you snap that off I've done the same thing extracting with one of these this is called the easy called the easy out extractor um, I think a bolt extractor actually is the female version of this, but they'll know what you're talking about. Uh, probably cheaper, probably cheaper to get it at Lowe's, to be honest with you. And you could actually drill it out. Now, that being said, because it's throwing the, the light for the sensor, doesn't mean the sensor is always bad. Now, like I said before, this one is so different on the back of here. It'll have, most of these will have another plug. Yeah, they'll only be, well, let me just grab one, I'll show you. Okay, so here's one from an E39. It's a little bit different, but it's gonna have the plug that you're gonna need to see. You can see it's a little bit longer right here. Um, so in this plug, there is two little prongs. A lot of times it could be something with this end of this plug, or it could be the female end where it could be corroded or messed up. That could be causing your problem too. Another thing it could be, is if you look down this hole you're going to see a little cog wheel and if that has a bunch of trash on it grease or if you drove through a, a mud puddle you got in a little bit of sand you got stuck and you got abs light on now um, you need to get a can of carb cleaner you could actually stick the straw down in that hole and as you turn if i could turn this one or not now with the bare hand as you turn that over, you could spray that little wheel that reads the sensor off and clean all the debris off of it. Now, if you have the E39, if you're getting multiple wheel codes, it could very well be the control module under the hood. They like to go bad. E46, don't not too much problem with that really. Now, the final straw is, this is a China sensor. This one will not work. If it's a cheap Chinese sensor, it will not turn your light off more than likely. You'll have the exact same problem. Uh, it won't be able to see, it won't be able to read it. Uh, if you get the little scanner, I did uh, some videos on a bunch of scanners actually. Uh, if you get the one from e eBay, the $40 scanner, um, the Creator C310, it'll actually run live data and you can watch the wheels turning on the scanner when you're driving. Uh, to have a scanner that does something like that is worth doing. Now you guys remember the, your pre-2001 and pre-2001 BMWs, you have to have the round adapter, the 20 pin adapter that goes from OBD2 to 20 pin under the hood. And is this guy right here. And your 20 pin plugs in there. Man, I tell you what, the phone rings every 30 seconds here. Don't forget if you don't replace this back on there, it has a circuit board in the lid and your OBD2 port won't work inside the car. That's pretty much all guys. Just some quick pointers uh, on the ABS sensor. That pretty much goes for any BMW, uh, those tips and tricks. Also, we've made a Patreon account uh, for this channel. Um, basically, Google AdSense, I don't know what's going on, but they aren't paying anymore. So, uh, looking through analytics and the one of the x5 e53 x5 videos i did last week got 10,000 views in just a few days and it made like nine dollars 
So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but it's definitely not good. The Patreon account is set up, so there's a couple different options. You could just one-time donate. Um, also have it set up, hopefully I have it set up right, to where if you donate money, you can check the little box and we'll do a little advertising for you on the channel. And you can just do that one time. You can do it monthly where you can run like a page at the end or just announce, uh, you know, basically who donated that month. Probably do a little end page uh, with the information on there. Uh, I set up a little account, a little box you could check. It's 40 bucks a month and you can talk to me on the phone or FaceTime if you need help with your car a lot. I didn't really know what kind of price to put on. 40 bucks a month is probably pretty cheap for pretty much unlimited uh, BMW support for you. Uh, so hopefully that works out. We'll see. I might add or subtract some more stuff to it. Uh, just trying to kind of playing with it a little bit to start off with. So that's it, guys. That's all for today's video. I'll quit babbling on. Hopefully this video today helped you guys out, gave you some insight if you have this problem with your BMW. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.